who did their homework. You have it? Anybody else? All right, well, good job, good job. Open Airways is an initiative led by the Department of Health. It empowers kids to control their asthma instead of asthma controlling them. We're gonna review what we went over last week. So do any of you remember <laughs> the five emergency signs? Asthma is the number one reason kids are absent from school a lot. Open Airways is a program for uh, elementary age students. Uh, we talked to the kids about airway management. I thought this would be really, really great for Orlando Health to get involved. I could take it to my team members and got respiratory therapists who were excited and wanted to do this. So um, they gave us Hamilton Elementary School. These therapists work night shift. They have families of their own and they're devoting their time um, and energy to educate these kids for six weeks about asthma. The first step is to know what your triggers are. Cold air, cleaning, if you have pets, animals, things of that nature. And that's step one, is to know what could possibly cause you to have an asthma attack. So having the phone stop, um, messing with me. It is pretty cold outside. We have the red light, green light, uh, yellow light system, and that's a good way for them to recognize or know if they need their inhaler, if they just need to relax, or um, actually in um, some situations called 911. Good job. All right. One of my triggers is pollen, cold weather, changes in weather. It helped me actually know what my triggers were, how to help them, what to do when your lungs start to get tight. It is so important for the students to recognize what their triggers are, understand what their um, condition is. It'll also prevent any um, issues going on as far as missing school because it, with asthma if you can get ahead of a chronic attack then it's easier to treat. We want them to retain the information that we're giving them. We did today work with our musical chairs as a way or method for us to be able to make sure they're getting the information. Once the music stops and we ask them a question we want to make sure that they're remembering you know what should I do if this was to happen? With Orlando Health and the DOH, I think our visions are aligned in terms of going out into the community and having a healthy community. So with them seeing us out there and doing the education and teaching our younger community members, it sort of builds confidence out there in the community. Relax and breathe. Relax and breathe. Very good. So when something does happen or if they do need us, they know they can come to us and we can take care of their medical needs.